All right, guys, here's a quick tour of this 1995 Ford Econoline. Um, it's a 5.8 liter V8, uh, rear wheel drive, 221,000 miles, and it's ready to go on pretty much any adventure. There's a lot of work done to this van. Um, all documented, have the receipts for everything, but that'll all be in the listing. So up top, we got 100 watt solar panel up there. Everything on the front's nice and clean. It's got some brand new headlights, all terrain tires. It's got real good shred left on all these tires, as you can see. <clears throat> um, the interior here, it comes with some seat covers, which are really nice because these are some older seats. Um, everything in here works pretty much just fine. The only thing that does not work is the oil pressure gauge on there, but it's been replaced and this one does work down here. It's got crank windows. Nice and clean in here. This was just replaced, so the AC and the heat all work awesome. Um, the whole unit actually was replaced. It does come with this Bluetooth speaker. Um, it also has a 12 volt charger here when the van's running. On the interior of the van, there's a 20 gallon water tank. Um, so this will be the RV refill basically. Um, it has a little key so you can pop it open. Plenty of luggage space here. Um, I'll show you the inside here in a second, but there's definitely a large cargo rack up here and one on the back as well. You can take either of those off if you want to, um, but they definitely carry quite a bit of stuff on this van without an issue. If you need extra fuel, there's a fuel canister attached on the back here and a ladder to get up there and get all your stuff. On the interior here, it's got some large cargo in the back here. This is all metal welded together, so it's super sturdy. Um, but this is just some extra stuff that the van does come with. It's got some outdoor carpets for the awning on the other side, which I'll show you soon. It's got your tire repair stuff. If you need your jack, wrench, some seat belts for the interior on the, on the second row of seats. It's got some headrests for those second row of seats. Back there is a second piece to the awning that comes off the side of the van. It also comes with some oils and coolants. Some other good stuff, nothing too crazy, but there's plenty of storage along the sides here and here. I just put it back here to show um, what we had, but there's a little sneak peek into the little storage units that run along the sides of the bed. There's a bunch of different access points. These windows also do pop open, so if you want to get the top fan going and draft some air through here when it's nice and warm in the summer, it's super easy. This here is the awning. I'm not gonna take it out right now because it takes a really long time to put together, um, but I do have some pictures of what it looks like. So if you're setting up for a day camp, it looks really, really awesome and comfortable. It's got the full sliding door. It comes with a fire extinguisher as well. This extra row of seats here does lean up. So if you wanna have about five passengers, there's the seat belts and the headrest in the back, you can use them. Um, or it's a good place just to hang out and chill. It also has right here, on the interior here to that 20 gallon water tank, it's got this hose hooked up and it's got a, a water pump switch. So you just switch the switch on, pull that hose out and you can hose things down if you need to before you get in the van. You can use it to do your dishes. You can use it for drinking water or whatever you need. On the interior here under the bed, all the way down this side and all the way down that side over there, there's compartments. You can just pop them open if you need to. This one over here is gonna be your solar. This one's the water hose and the other ones in the back are all storage. As soon as you no longer want this here, you can just drop this seat down. I need two hands, hold on. Drop this seat down and it gets a lot more comfortable in here. You got your full bed here, insulation on the sides. It's also got some good hanging spots to put all your gear in, some netting. These lights are on when the doors are open, but these ones here are all solar powered. So if you have the door shut at night, you can have solar power lighting inside. Everything is weather checked in here, all freshly cleaned. Um, so you don't have to really worry too much about getting muddy or snowy or anything like that in here. Here we got a nice 12 volt fridge hooked up to your solar power, a Mr. Buddy heater that comes with the vans, some extra stuff that we can talk about if you want to come check the van out. Um, it's also got underneath here, all custom window blockades here for all of these windows so you can pretty much black the van out anytime you want and it even has curtains to go along with it 
Um, this one's for the front, obviously. That one goes up here in the window. It's also got this top fan here, which is very helpful. Um, it's got a heater core in it that runs off the solar as well. So if you ever want to get some extra heat going in here, you can turn the heater core on. Blow hot air in or out. It is reversible, so you can take it out or you can bring it in whatever you prefer.